Hello guys, welcome to Cooking with Priscilla. I'm Priscilla. If you're new, please subscribe, like, comment, and share. And hit that bell notification for our next video. So today I'm making bite-sized chicken parmesan. So no one in my family likes to eat this big piece of chicken. So I like to cut it up and fry it and put it inside this pan. Throw some sauce on it, put it in the oven, and call it a day. So the ingredients are mozzarella cheese some tomato sauce pasta sauce and we also have some minced garlic we have some garlic bread some chicken breast spaghetti onions pepper so it's a simple recipe guys it takes me no more than 45 minutes to do it so let's get into the video guys and you can do this at home as well as a quick meal i have sliced and diced the onions and the pepper and of course i'm going to save these seeds guys you see these seeds look at all these plants right here all of those plants so we're gonna put that in the drying rack and the next thing we're gonna do I'm gonna cut up this chicken all right for the chicken I'm using simple ingredients salt pepper but the complete garlic and onion powder as well as parsley so let's season up this chicken real fast and I was not like putting a lot of salt on my food so I don't want high blood pressure all right, I'm gonna add some pepper. Guys, we absolutely love pepper, so I'm gonna put a gracious amount, but you can season it however you choose to season it. This is uh, onion powder right here, and we have some garlic powder. Love garlic powder, so I'm gonna douse that. And of course, badia complete. So that is about it, guys. I'm gonna mix this up, and then I'm gonna throw this in some flour so I can fry it. All right, so I mixed up the chicken off camera so you mix it up to the best of your ability and before I started anything I have the water boiling as well as the grease guys so let's put some flour on this chicken and let's get it frying so now what I do is I take the cut up chicken breast and I put it inside of the flour a handful at a time and then of course the best part is two handfuls that's the best part shaking the flour bag Alright guys, this will be your pick up the raw chicken hand and your other glove hand will be your flour hand. I also put my noodles on. This is what it looks like. So I'm just going to stir it around so they don't stick. I dropped some oil and salt in there as well. Just in case I didn't mention it earlier. But this is what it looks like. And guys, I absolutely love these new pots. I'm getting used to them, but I love them. But of course I had to whip out the old, old boy. And that's what the chicken looks like so far. And this is the noodles. I think I'm going to turn the fire up on this a little bit. I was already on high, so okay. I am making the sauce right now. So I'm going to add the peppers and the onions in there as well as the garlic. Minced garlic. And now we are going to stir this up. I'm going to turn the fire down a little bit because it is way too high. Like that, cook up a little bit, and then we're gonna throw our pasta sauce in there. This is about where I want it, so I'm gonna put my pasta sauce in there. I'm gonna add some salt and garlic pepper. First, I'm gonna mix it up a little bit. Yeah, there you go. Let's mix up those onions and those peppers and the garlic and then now we can add our salt and our garlic and pepper powder a little bit of salt I'm not big on the salt guys if you want you can add more put a little bit of that and that's about it we let this simmer and we're gonna go check on our chicken right now that should be about done we're gonna add our second batch inside of the grease this is the first batch of chicken and it looks really good. It looks crispy. I'm about to throw that second batch in. And this is also what the noodles look like. Right here. They look good. They are almost done. Alright guys. So this is what the chicken looks like when I put it in. That's what it looks like. I'll be back when it is done. Alright guys. Now it's time to dress this chicken up. So first what I'm going to do is I'm just going to throw the chicken inside of the pan. 
And of course, I'm gonna get my spoon. Let's spread it out a little bit. Let's make it even. We're gonna throw some pasta sauce on here. Straighten that out. I'm gonna throw some pasta sauce on here. As well as some mozzarella cheese. Guys, this sauce smells and looks amazing. You see that? Put all them vegetables in here. Very, very nice. All right, so let's get back to the chicken. So I'm just gonna pour it on there like this. You put all of it if you want. I don't put all of it because um, Jaden does not like this, so he likes it separately. I fry him some chicken separately. So I leave some sauce for him. But if it wasn't for him, I would pour this whole thing on there. I'm gonna leave him some sauce for his pasta. So, but if it wasn't for him, I would definitely put all the sauce on there. But most of it is going on there. For sure. But this smells and looks amazing, guys. Please try this at home as well. Your children will love it. Because children do not like eating big pieces of chicken. They like small bites. One of my closest friends taught me how to make this. And I said, why not show this to y'all? Alright, that's what it looks like. And I'm going to throw some um, cheese on there. All right, let's throw some mozzarella cheese on it. You can put any cheese that you want, but we prefer mozzarella. You can put Parmesan. We like mozzarella, guys. And we like a lot of it. If you guys notice on my, um, well, no, you don't know. But when I go to Walmart, I buy a whole bunch of cheese because we are cheese people. So this is what it looks like and we're gonna put it in the toaster oven for about maybe 10 minutes all right let's bring this over to the toaster oven I already turned it on so here we go let's see what happens the pasta is done I put some olive oil in there to keep the noodles nice and soft and you know glistening so you just mix it up like so like that and of course, you can mix it better if you can hold the pot. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're going to open it up. And let's see what it looks like. This is exactly what I wanted. Like, look at this. Look at this. She is pretty. Oh, yes. So now we're going to put the garlic bread in and put it on 350, probably for like two or three minutes. Put it on this shelf right here. All right, maybe two or three minutes, but we're not gonna walk away. We're gonna stay and watch it. Okay, guys, it is a nice golden brown. It is done. It looks really, really, really good. Can't wait to try it. This is the pasta. It's still nice and loose. And then we have the chicken parmesan, guys. This is a really quick, easy recipe. You can definitely try it at home. It takes like about an hour. And that's about it. But thanks for watching. If you got this far, definitely hit that like button. And definitely subscribe and comment. So bless you. Stay safe. Alright, I wanted to make a plate. So you guys can see what it looks like. So that is the pasta. And it is definitely still loose. Guys, I had this sitting here for maybe 20 minutes, and it's still hot. I left it on the um, burner, electric burner, and it's still hot. All right, so let's see what this is looking like. So this is how I usually cut it. This is a nice size for me. And I just usually just sit it right on top like so. And this is what it looks like, guys. Really good. And now I'm going to get me a slice of bread. And this is it, guys. Looks amazing. And now, let's taste it. Alright, so let's dig in. It's still pretty hot. So, what I want to taste, I just want to taste really the chicken. That's what I really want to taste. So, this is what it looks like. And, of course, I'm going to blow this. Exactly. One bite, I already know. It's exactly what I wanted.